So here are the apples that I've collected that I pollinated this year. You can see each one has the cross written on it in case it falls off the tree I can keep track of it. So I've just been collecting these in the fridge drawer for a while. As you can see some of them are pretty far gone and usually the seeds will still be okay although sometimes they'll start to rot so you don't want to wait too long. This is the only ones that I have. There's two apples in here that are from the video where I cross-pollinated blossoms this spring. Um, some of the other ones fell off and I lost track or the chickens uh, ate them or whatever. So I have at least these two and they actually didn't do that well. Almost all the crosses I made grew into apples, but I'm guessing they won't have that many seeds inside. And the reason is that they were the latest blossoms, like I was at the end of the bloom season. And those are always um, a little more dicey. If you pollinate earlier in the season, you should get better results. So kind of about early, early to mid season is kind of ideal, I think. So you can see here that I have all these apples grouped by crosses. These are all, each of these groups is an individual cross. So there's one, two, three, 10, 11, at least 11 different crosses. And some of them have as many as three apples. Some of them have two and a lot of them just have one. Each apple can produce usually around 10 seeds, so, um, but rarely do you get actually get that many. So if you slice straight down through the apple like this, there's a good chance you're going to hit a seed and cut it in half, maybe more than one. So what I do is I'll ring the apple just about to the core in this direction and then twist it open. They still have to be sort of picked out, but they're not going to be cut in half. So this one has a lot of seeds. It has a uh, nine, so almost almost uh, full. Now this is sweet sixteen crossed with Wixen. Fairly exciting possibilities, I think. This one's crossed with Wixen. That should be interesting. But this one is also very full. Apparently, sweet sixteen is a good seed producer, and Wixen must be a good pollinator. That's a lot of seeds. Let's hope one of those produces something good. This is uh, just one of the crosses, but that's all three apples that were made with that cross, Wixen and Sweet 16. So they go in a baggie separately from all the rest. And sometimes I'll just put them in the baggie. Um, I want them kind of dry, but they'll sweat a little bit. In case I don't get to planting them for a while, I want a little bit of damp sawdust in there. So this isn't wet, like you couldn't wring water out of it. But what that will do is it'll act as a reservoir it can give off moisture or absorb extra moisture and it's also going to keep the apple seeds from sitting against the wet plastic bag which is like worst case scenario and if they're just sitting and like they get sitting against a droplet of water they're going to rot so this isn't totally necessary especially if you plant them relatively soon but i have no idea how long it's going to take me to get these planted the seed parent first so the seed parent is this one sweet 16 and then the pollen parent. So you could also dry the seeds and then re-soak them and sprout them. I've never done that. I know that you can do it. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense for me, so I'll probably never do it. If you were collecting seeds in another country or something and you needed to transport them back or send them to other people or store them for a while before you actually planted them, like, you know, a year or more, then that, that totally makes sense, but I can't tell you how to do it because I never you know, do it. These are gonna go in the fridge to undergo a process called stratification. And stratification just means that they're below a certain temperature for a certain amount of time. They think at least that winter has come and gone and it's time for them to grow. You can also do that outside by just planting them in the ground uh, during the winter. Also, a lot of these apples have been stored in the fridge so they underwent some stratification there if they're late hanging apples they may undergo stratification in the apple on the tree i'm not really sure i've seen lady williams seeds sprouting inside of the apple and i've heard th the same uh can be true of pink lady which is also actually an offspring of lady williams and also a very late apple in fact i have some on the tree now i think i'll go eat one Anyway, this goes in the fridge until I plant it. That's usually about February, and that'll be the next video, I guess, is uh, planting these out in flats. Now, this is maypole crossed with chestnut crab. Both are crab apples. Maypole is actually intensely red when it's ripe. This was picked early because the birds were starting to eat it, but it was uh, mature enough for the seeds to be fully mature. 
I'm pretty excited about this variety. I'm definitely going to do some more crosses with it in the coming season. If I do any, which I probably will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.